The NFT market's gone absolutely berserk over the last month <laughs> and it's created one of the biggest opportunities ever in crypto to make life-changing gains. A lot of people feel bad because they miss out on Bitcoin, you know, buying it $100. But you could have made really similar returns just by buying the right NFT projects a few months ago. But of course, in order to do that, you have to find the right projects. But in this video, I want to talk about a different opportunity entirely, which is to create your own NFT project and tell you a story about, you know, a 12-year-old boy and made $400,000 on his summer break uh, from school. We're going to break down how he did that so you can kind of reverse engineer his success and get some ideas for yourself. I'm going to talk about this as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about the story of a 12-year-old boy, uh, Ben Ahmed, who made over $400,000 on his project Weird Whales on his summer vacation from school. So first of all, you know, Ben created his own unique project, Weird Whales, and launched on top of the Ethereum platform amid all the NFT insanity that's been happening over this past summer. And one of the craziest parts about this entire story is that Ben doesn't even have his own bank account. Account. So he's been selling these NFTs for Ether and just been keeping the funds inside of, you know, this decentralized ecosystem because he's not really taking it to a bank account because he's never had a traditional one to begin with. Now I want to talk about Ben's background a little bit because this is just an insanely inspiring story because, you know, he's just 12 years old. It's sort of like, you know, what excuse do you have? This 12 year old's out there making more money than most people could fathom in a matter of months. So if you dive into his background, he definitely has some, you know, advantages here in the fact that that is, you know, his father's a software engineer, his brother's also been loaned into code, and they've been doing this for several years at this point. And of course, there's a lot of opportunity at sort of being in the right place in the right time for this NFT trend to take off. But it still shows there's a massive opportunity here that even somebody who's just 12 years old can take advantage of, and that the barrier of entry is incredibly low compared to something where you might have to go, you know, attend school for a long time, buy a fancy degree, get all these credentials before you could ever hope to make that kind of money. But instead, you can get, you know, exposure to this insane upside with relatively low effort on the grand scheme of things compared to these other things if you have the right skills. And that's the whole point here is these are the exact skills that I'm teaching on you in this channel. I've released several videos on how to code your own NFT projects, how to customize them, and how to sell them on a, you know, popular marketplace like OpenSea where people are flipping these and making big gains. So let's talk about some of the other aspects of Ben's success here that I think, uh, still actually translate over to other people and make this a ongoing opportunity rather than just having to be at the perfect right place at the right time and, you know, been coding since you were five, okay? So first of all, you know, the massive NFT wave that's going off right now has played a big part in his success, but I don't think that this trend is dead or that's going anywhere uh, for the long term. Could we be like at the top of the NFT bubble right now for the short to midterm? We definitely could. Okay. This is no promises that you're just going to go launch your own NFT project, you know, become an overnight success without any risk. But there's a lot of long-term opportunity here because I expect the NFT trend to continue on for years to come, despite what happens short term with the price, because there's so many more use cases for NFTs that we haven't even really tapped into the potential of yet. The other big part of this opportunity is that there's less friction for, you know, launching an NFT project versus something that's way more complex in software engineering because, you know, NFTs are more or less copy and paste in many cases in more ways than one. So a lot of times you'll see NFTs launched that are really similar to other NFTs. So you can kind of just take, you know, you do a theme and variation where you, you mimic uh, another NFT successful NFT project, and then you kind of just change it up to launch your own. And at the actual software level, this gets a lot easier because a lot of this source code is open source. You know, it's verified in the blockchain, so you can basically just take it as long as the, the software license says that you can do that, modify it, make your own. And this makes it a lot easier to just launch your own project that way. And the last big thing that makes it such a massive opportunity is it doesn't have the same regulatory uh, headwind as something like launching your own cryptocurrency does and launching your ICO IDO or doing a liquidity mining program with, you know, a DeFi project. Because in many cases, like you're going to be worried about securities laws, but here we're talking about NFT, especially with artwork. It's non-fungible. And of course, it's not official legal advice, but it doesn't seem to be the same regulatory concern. All right. So now let's talk about 
actually, how do you make money with NFTs? Okay, so here's the most common way. Right? This is what I see most projects doing. So if, if you're thinking about launching a project, one of the best ways to do this is an NFT drop, okay? Because it's essentially a launch for your new NFT. And during this drop, what you do is you create a smart contract that lets other people mint the NFTs. So you create a smart contract that, that creates NFTs from scratch, and you put a hard cap on how many people can actually mint, okay? And then you go put this smart contract out on the network, and then, you know, you advertise it and, you know, tell people that they're that the minting is going to be on this specific block, all right? Event goes live, and you're inside Discord groups, you're on Twitter, you know, doing really boots-on-the-ground marketing, trying to get the word out to as many people as possible. And then whenever, you know, the minting goes live for your particular NFT project, you're just going to let other people come in and actually click a button on your website that calls the mint function on your smart contract to generate the NFTs from scratch. And whenever you do this, many projects also collect a fee, all right? So like you're going to, to mint the NFTs, but it usually costs you some small amount, like 0 0.035 Ether, depending on the project. Some people are way more expensive, but usually like for a lot of these new projects, you know, you might pay $100, $150 to mint the NFT. And that's one of the ways that you are going to make money as a developer. So you're collecting those initial fees at launch. And in many cases, these projects you know, sell out instantly. And the developers who create the smart contracts, you know, make a lot of money. And another option here is whenever you're actually minting the NFTs, you know, they can be a fair launch where other people are buying them. But if you really do anticipate the NFTs going up in value, you know, you can purchase a portion of the NFTs yourself from your own auction or, you know, reserve a set. And then typically what happens when the crowd buys NFTs and they go lo launch them on OpenSea, and then other people are, you know, they're, they're rising in price because, you know, the, they expect the value to increase. And then someone buys on the open marketplace because they didn't, you know, m make the minting opportunity because a lot of these things are really competitive. Gas spikes to the roof, people lose out on transaction fees. And so you usually see, you know, NFTs hit the open sea marketplace for a small profit on top of what they cost to mint plus the gas fees. And then if the project does well, you know, the price tends to trend higher from there. And so if you minted, you know, a, a large amount of the, the NFTs for yourself, whenever you launch a project, then you can additionally make money that way as the price of the NFTs appreciate. Or then they, if you don't want to mint them, you're yourself and let everybody else do it. You can just buy your own NFTs because you're one of the first people to know about it and then wait for the price to go up and then sell. And one of the big benefits of this strategy is that a lot of people in the NFT market are just, you know, buying projects and they're speculating on them you know, hoping that they're going to go up in price. But if you're just creating the contracts and you're just saying like, hey, here's the NFTs, you can buy them. We make no guarantees what, where they're going to increase in price, but you make something that the market actually wants, then, well, you can capitalize a lot, off a lot of that speculation without assuming the risk uh, for the NFTs themselves based on what happens with, you know, the overall market, okay? Or just your particular project within the market. So that being said, what's going to happen with the overall NFT market? You know, at the end of the day, nobody's got a crystal ball. Like I was saying before, I think it's very possible that we're at a sort of intermediate top or maybe a long-term top for the NFTs. But I do think they're here to stay. And that's one of the reasons why this is still, I think, a good opportunity to launch your own project. And at the end of the day, if this is something that, you know, you try and it's not as successful as you hope, then if you're trying to actually break into the blockchain industry, then this could be an amazing opportunity for your, you know, portfolio. That, of course, will limit the downside risk of something like this. And it, if it doesn't pan out the way that you hoped. But as far as the overall NFT opportunity goes, there's always going to be opportunity for new categories of NFTs to come out that are novel, that are going to generate hype and likely be successful, even if we enter into some sort of long-term bear market for NFTs, okay? We saw this happen uh, in the crypto winter from 2018 to 2019, and we saw projects like Chainlink uh, emerge and really take off during this time, even though the entire crypto market was you know, kind of moving downward and hadn't really recovered from its all-time highs. The same thing happened with DeFi. Uh, a lot of DeFi coins exploded last Last year in 2020 and then kind of went into a, a brief bear market but even during those bear markets we saw new projects take off and really gain traction despite going over on the overall crypto market or DeFi market and similarly we've seen nfts just take off this summer despite what's been going on with you know overall crypto prices you know cryptocurrency uh, a lot of major cryptos hit a peak around April, May, and some of them haven't even recovered their all-time highs, but NFTs are still taking off like a rocket ship despite what's been going on with that overall trend. So for all those same reasons, there's going to be opportunity to NFTs regardless of what happens with the overall market. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. 
That really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast at this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.